So you just got your brand new PS5. Congratulations, I'm stoked for you, which is why I'm gonna show you in this video right here, the easiest and best way to stream to platforms like Twitch and YouTube directly from your PlayStation 5. Let's go. You know what I do a lot of? A lot of sitting more than ever between my gaming, my content creation, and my day-to-day -day job. I feel like I'm glued to my desk and my chair, which is why I'm a huge advocate for today's sponsor, Flexispot Standing Desks. Flexispot gives you that ergonomic solution that allows you to have a healthier life and be more productive because you know what? You're going to get off your butt and stand and get that blood flowing. Trust me, it's going to help you. I've had my Flexispot desk for a number of years and my two favorite things are how easy it is to assemble, especially the EC9 you see here and how quiet and smooth the transitions are up and down. Stop being a bump on a log and invest in you and your stream room and get yourself a standing desk. Trust me, you can't go wrong with it. I love mine. Now, if you wanna save yourself some cash and support the channel, you can use the links down in the video description below. And guess what, while you're down there, I even snuck in a couple coupon codes to save you some cash. I know, you're welcome. Now, back to the video. If there's one thing I love about the PlayStation 5, it's how intuitive, seamless, and easy it is to start streaming to YouTube and Twitch. Let's go over to the console and I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know. First, we wanna adjust all the settings for our PlayStation 5 broadcast. Go to the settings cog and go down to capture and broadcast and click on broadcast. Under this section, we can adjust the settings for our broadcast. The first one you'll see will be video that allows us to choose the resolution and frames that we can stream at. We can also make adjustments to our audio that allows us to share the friends and people within our party to be shared with their voice over the broadcast. Under camera allows us to make adjustments to the PlayStation 5 camera. You need any help with this or insights, I've already done a video on this. I recommend taking a look at the top right corner to learn more about it. We can also make adjustments to the overlays, which allows us to display chat and display the activity, as well as pick the position of where we want the active displays to be seen at in the stream. And of course, the last setting, if you want to turn on is text to speech. Now launch any game that you want to stream. With your PS5 controller, hit the share button on the left side. The bottom of the screen will populate some options. We wanna go over to the broadcast button on the right hand side. Select this and you get two platforms to stream to, Twitch and YouTube. You will need to link both your accounts if you wanna to stream to either platform. Let's start with Twitch. With your Twitch account now linked, you can stream to your Twitch channel. But before we go live, we wanna click on the three dots on the right that allows us to make broadcast option changes. Now we've already changed a lot in our settings, but this is good to double check to make sure everything is what you want, like your video quality, if you want display chat and camera and so forth. Also, it's great to double check what game you'll be playing to make sure that your camera and chat won't be blocking any important video material while you broadcast. If everything looks good, all we have to do is give our stream a nice title and then we can hit that go live button. When you click that go live button, it will take a few moments to connect to Twitch, but you'll be up and running in no time. With your broadcast started, depending on where your chat is, you will see it pop up in these nice little bubbles so that way you can respond and engage with your channel. Likewise, if you decided to stream with a camera, you can pick and choose where you want the camera to be before you finalize it, again, making sure that you're not blocking any important information that is on the game so that way your stream can see what's going on. To end your stream, you have two ways. Click the share button on your PS5 controller and go back over to the broadcast button. Here, you can pause the broadcast or stop it. Or you can click on the PlayStation button in the center of your controller, which brings up the shortcuts. Go on your broadcast, which is generally the first one on the left. And from here, you can do the same thing. Pause or stop broadcast. If you like to stream to YouTube, it's virtually the same steps. We just have to link our YouTube account. Once it's linked, we can then go to the broadcast option changes that we want to double check and make sure that everything's in its place. Give the stream a title, a description. We can even toss in tags to make it more searchable. And we can select if we wanna make our streams public or private. Now you can go live to YouTube and stream any of the gaming content that you would like to do. Just like Twitch, you gotta give it a few moments to connect, but once it does, it'll let you know that you're broadcasting and you can see all the awesome chat and interaction that you're getting on your stream 
with your awesome viewers watching you. Streaming from your PS5 to Twitch and YouTube is a great way to see if live streaming games is for you. So I recommend try it out. Just go at your own pace and have fun. Remember, streaming should always be about fun. Now, if you think you wanna grow with streaming and take it to bigger and better things, guess what? That's what my channel's all about. And I want you to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Cause in my next video, I'm gonna share with you the best PlayStation 5 tips and tricks to be a content creator and streamer. I'm gonna show you things that your PS5 can do that you didn't even know. So make sure you hit that follow button. But until then, I will see all of you beautiful people coming up in my next video. Take care, stay safe, and as always, peace.